Hello everybody, it is Emery48 here and welcome back to another tier list Tuesday. Today we are sticking with the gaming world, tabletop gaming, and we have Monopoly, one of my favorite games growing up, uh, and we have the spots on the board to land on, the properties to buy. Uh, now it's really weird that they set this up not in color order. I don't really know why they would do that. I don't need this many tiers, actually. I can get rid of a couple. Probably only need four tiers. That's probably enough to do a Monopoly tier list. There's, there's not, don't need six tiers. That's for sure. Now, I'm gonna try and go in color order. Uh, Mediterranean and Baltic Avenue are two pretty good spots. They're so the first two spots on the board. Um, and they're good. It's, it's not expensive. And you can get to a point where you're at hotels relatively quickly. Uh, now the next ones are the blue, the light blue. And I think they're one of the worst ones. Connecticut, Vermont, and Oriental are just not great. Um, you need all three to start building and they're kind of difficult. I'm, I'm not a big fan. We have Electric and Water Place, Water Works. Also not great. Uh, you don't get much for your money in these unless you have both. And even then, if someone low rolled onto it, then you don't get too much. Um, the Railroads, I'm gonna put in the B tier. They're pretty good once you get all four. And if you have I believe it's Redding. Uh, there's a card that sends you to that, so that's also helpful. Um, I mean, go to jail isn't a property, and neither is free parking. But free parking is not bad, especially if you play with house rules that you get the money in the middle of the pot. Uh, that's a pretty interesting way to do it. Income tax is also not a property, uh, so pretty bad. Boardwalk and park place. I'm going to put in the middle, uh, not in the middle, in the second tier. I think they're very good, but they're very expensive. Uh, if somebody does land on it, they can pretty much bankrupt themselves immediately, but it's really expensive to get there. The yellow ones, I'm not a big fan. Um, they're in a good area, I suppose. Well, they're kind of past the good area. The good area is that top left corner around the free parking with the red, Kentucky, Illinois, and Indiana, and the orange, Tennessee, New York, and St. James. Those six are the ones that I always try and go for the most. Uh, we have another tax spot, so that's great. Uh, the purple ones, I'm going to put as pretty good as well, uh, Virginia, St. Charles, and States. It's in a good area. It's right after jail so if someone rolls a four to get out they'll hit it it's again not too expensive so i don't mind those ones uh pennsylvania and north carolina and pacific are just again they're kind of expensive not in a great spot on the board these ones never seem to really hit very well for me uh i mean community chest and chance i'll put there I guess makes me feel bad for putting actual properties down here. Uh, jail, just visiting tile is bad, and go is fine. I mean, this was mostly meant to be a properties thing, uh, so the other cards are kind of odd in this. But these are definitely my top six cards in Monopoly. Those are the ones I always go for. And these ones, I'm pretty happy when I get as well. Um, granted, my strategy is normally just buy everything that you land on, and see what you can do with it. So it's not like I'm going to pass on anything anyway. Let me know where you agree and disagree with my Monopoly properties tier list down below in the comments. Thank you everybody so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.